Marian Majadi, Women Lead the Iran Protest for Regime Change In a message to the Iranian nation, Marian Majadi, President-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, said women are a force for change and will defeat the Mullah's reactionary dictatorship. Rajavi said, the courage exhibited by women and men and young people and your sacrifices have affected the grieving cities. Rebellious cities have risen up in our fettered nation and shanty towns have become hotbeds of revolution and rebellion. Iran's cities are rising up one after the other and everywhere. Women actively participate, leading and supporting the protests. We have already said that women are the force for change and will defeat the Mullah's reactionary and religious tyranny. The U.S. says Iran protest toll may surpass 1,000. The United States said Thursday that Iranian authorities may have killed more than 1,000 people in a crackdown on demonstrations, which Washington cast as the clerical regime's worst ever internal challenge. Brian Hook, the U.S. special envoy on Iran, told reporters, it appears the regime could have murdered over 1,000 Iranian citizens since the protest began. He said many thousands of Iranians have been wounded and that at least 7,000 have been detained. On Wednesday, the MEK published an additional list of the heroic victims of the Iranian people's uprising. According to their report, the number of those killed in the protests has surpassed 1,000. France condemns Iran's regime for opening fire on protesters. France has condemned the disproportionate force used by Iran's regime in its crackdown on protesters in Iran. Amélie de Montchalin, France's Minister of State for European Affairs, told lawmakers in the French National Assembly on December 3rd that Iran's regime opened fire on protesters and arrested thousands in its attempt to stifle dissent. She said, indeed, since mid-November, for several days, Iran has experienced an extremely violent large-scale protest movement which followed the decision to increase the price of fuel in what we know is a much deteriorated economic situation linked to geopolitical events on which, as you know, France is extremely committed to finding a way to de-escalate things. Italian lawmakers urge support for Iran protests. On Wednesday, December 4th, members of the Italian Parliament and Human Rights Organisations in Italy held a press conference in the Parliament's conference room in solidarity with the recent nationwide uprising in Iran. The participants welcomed the cancellation of a trip to Italy by Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif, who has the blood of slain protesters on his hands. The event was also attended by former Italian Foreign Minister Giulio Terzi, Italian Senators Lucio Milan and Manuel Vescovi, Italian MPs Renata Polverini, Stefania Pozopain and Federico Molicone, as well as Sergio Dielia and Elisabetta Zamparuti from the Hands of Cain Association. Terzi said Zarif cancelled his trip because of fear being held accountable for human rights abuses and massacre. Milan slammed the Italian government and its foreign ministry for being silent and, unlike other nations, not taking much stronger positions. He said we should stand with the people of Iran.